I'm Rachel, computer science, I'm a junior. Uh, I'm Tyler, I'm a freshman electrical engineer. I'm Jackson, I'm a junior human factors and computer science major. Morgan, I'm an engineering physics major, music minor, junior. So the whole idea behind this was it's a glass harp. Right, so glass harp is when you have a bunch of wine glasses filled with water and you play them and they make different pitches based on how much water is in them. And so what we wanted to do was make like a glass harp uh, instrument that was electronic. And it turned into a lot more than that, but originally this is the glass harp, glass harp original setting and it sounds a lot like glass harp does. It starts at like the lowest note and um, increases in half steps as you go up like this. The linear soft plot is overall volume, the trackball is pitch bend. This Classical. is our theremin mode. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try again. So the theremin mode is the simplest of the modes, and so basically you press on any note and it turns on. Uh, you can turn it off with this button, and this button also turns changes the echo. So the idea is that you have volume here, just like a theremin has like volume on the left hand, um, and you have pitch here. So like any of these notes is a different pitch, and right in the bottom of the soft pot, it brings you directly to the pitch of the note that's represented by your soft pot. Um, but as you move to the left, it, it shifts the pitch down and to the right shifts it up so you can get kind of like a siren effect. So you can add vibrato like that which is something people do in a real theremin. In this mode we have each ring assigned to a different sample so we have drums, bass, and <laughs> assigned to like the verse basically so um, the pre-chorus the chorus and then we have these three buttons controlling different stutter amounts so this is uh, eight notes and this is triple eight notes So we used MSP for this, so we didn't use Max at all for this part, because um, we wanted to be able to loop forward and backwards <coughs> for each of the samples. And if you go forwards on, on these rings, it plays the sample forwards and speeds up. If you go backwards, it plays it backwards. If you're not using the sustain pedal, it's, it starts at speed zero and then speeds up. Either direction, but if you're playing a note and you press the sustain pedal, it'll start playing it at normal speed. Double tapping just right, nice. plays it really slowly. <laughs> These are rotary soft pots, which are similar to what the iPod had on its face, where you can control the position without actually moving any mechanical parts using resistance. So as you go around, it increases the resistance, and that allows you to measure position. This is a very similar device, except for instead of being round, it's linear. We have a mode switch, which is just a four-way switch. Only three of the, the three of the uh, pins are used. 
and uh, this just selects the modes. Um, we have three buttons that are also just standard buttons. The trackball is, I believe, similar to the ones on a mouse. So when you spin it, you get the X and yeah, y you values. get the X and Y velocity values. The thing about a boss harp is if you fill it with water and then twirl it around, the amount of water that's up on the sides of the glass actually causes the pitch lower. And so you can actually get the same effect programmatically. When you do the trackball, it actually changes this, and it's a physics engine. And if you look at this red um, diamond, it, it approximates how high the water would be in, in, the, in the glass. The higher you go, the, the lower the pitch is. <laughs> section of our max patch for the glass heart we wanted to control the individual volume of each note um, after it's being played even the sort of effect that you can like turn a, turn a note up and down without taking your finger off which isn't allowed in the MIDI spec um, so basically what we have to do is like each one of these has to be their own instrument uh, so we have 13 instruments in reason and so each note controls one of the instruments like we have 13 of these here. For MSP, that was our mode three. Basically, we're loading all the samples here. It keeps track of what, what, uh, what rings you are currently playing. Uh, and then when you press the sustain pedal, it doesn't allow note offs to come through for those notes, but allows you to play other notes. This is where each sample is processed. So basically, this is where it shows whether the sample is on or off. And it also speeds it up here. And then on this side, this is the trackball. Uh, and then this is all the stutter stuff, uh, which adds, it like basically turns the signal off and on at a certain rate. We're using all the analog pins on the Arduino, but two. So we're using 14. Um, it's one for each soft pot, which is 13. And then there's the one for the long linear soft pot. It would be nice if we could have an extra Arduino to control the brightness of each LED individually. Right now, we can only power from all the LEDs together. I think what I really, really want with this is like, like 88 keys. Like I want, I want this to be a piano because that's what I play. So I don't know.